with a combined population of over 22 million cattle, pigs, goats and sheep. The country's livestock industry is set for a major revival with the opening up of export markets in southern and eastern Africa and the Middle East. To put the wheels of change into motion, the government has launched a national livestock development policy seeking to expand the sector by promoting greater private sector participation in livestock farming. Launching the policy in Lilongwe, Minister of Agriculture Lo Bin Lowe said the new policy represents government's renewed efforts to boost up output to meet both local and export demand of livestock products. He said the private sector is key in this transformation drive. Without private sector, the nation can develop because uh, when you talk of productivity or diversification, it is the private sector which can fully be in involved for it to be implemented. Unlike previous policies that emphasize mostly on the role of the public sector, the new livestock policy is a multi-stakeholder initiative that calls for increased investment in this sector to jumpstart the industry. Built on lessons from the past, the new policies align to the National Agricultural Policy, the Livestock Development Strategy for Africa, and the country's long-term development vision, Malawi 2063. The Vice Chairperson of Parliament's Agricultural Committee, Ole Muchila Pondwa, said if well-developed livestock farming will make smallholder farmers self-reliant and stop relying on government input subsidies. For us to win uh, this battle, of heavily subsidizing the smallholder farmers, we have to improve on the issue of livestock. Professor of Animal Science at Longo University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Timoth Gondwe, said the policy will help double output, reduce poverty levels, and increase income and nutrition levels throughout the livestock value chain. The focus is to develop the livestock sector by one looking at increasing numbers of livestock, regardless of the species and regardless of the breed, and secondly, increasing productivity of, of the, each livestock so that we get more from an individual animal, but also enabling the value chain so that uh, there are incentives of production. Valued at 1.2 trillion kwacha, the industry currently contributes about 11% of the country's gross domestic product and makes up about 36% of the total value of the country's agricultural products. I am at NBC Lilongwe. Kimaona meno liri ulimi wazueto. Kutintaiza mbili makarangu tiboma ndi meneli kujijiri kwa mbili. Ndei, ikunyamula ali yense kutitie ndenai. Kisasie mtu. Ndei, tika telo sponu ndei kutitizi kolola za mbili. E, tika kolola za mbili. Ndei, sponu titumafika wajia titumakambila na za ma industry ya sobano. Kwa mande kutitiku yenda ndali yense. Ibuerenga di business kwa antu hamina antu atu wani isa mu, muzu wetu wa msobano. Ndondo mego imene ya kazi kitidua liloli. Itandi za kwa mbili. Zikola malawi kumalimidwe. Inu mkuzi wa kuti nyama kapena ziwedo, ndi gauli mozi ni mene nikoza kutandiza kwa mpili. Alimiatu hangona hangono, mizimu, kunena kutazi kala ozi da lila oka. Ndipo pali panovonga di boma, kukubele kituwa zima subsidi kapena kutandiza mlimi, ndi nalama pa fertilizer. Kwa marimi amene wa tida di tapata mpavu, tapanga tatapata mpavu kumbali ya ulimi wa ziwedo. Na kala ozi dalila ndi ziwedo pa kumopao, ndi tuma subsidi sanga maganizile zonora, tidigile boma, lidi pate federeza otsikante.